What's up guys? This is Handy Capable Gamer or Roland and Style. And uh today we are gonna be playing Don't Take It Personal Babe, it just ain't your story. This is a dating simulator. I think this is my first time playing it. Uh otherwise known as a blind playthrough. So without further ado, here we go. There are of course some mistakes that you can see coming from miles ahead. Mistakes that you should have known better than to make. There are mistakes where you realize as you go along that things are just getting worse. I've made a lot of those mistakes in life. But then there are also mistakes you could have never seen coming. You just have to leap in head first and all you can do is hope it's not one of those. Hope that your decision doesn't turn out to be a mistake. Well, that's okay. And it's on that high note that I start my first day of school. Trouble with trials? Yes, I'm nervous, and I don't think there's much shame in that. No. You're all good, bruh. It's good. The class is full by the time I arrive. I stare at the sea of unfamiliar faces, their eyes piercing as they stare back, and look at all those uniforms. It's all, it's outright intimidating. Uh, yeah, at my old school we had uniforms. I didn't think it was that bad, actually. Ooh. Now it's time to be scared of the 11th graders now. I take a deep breath and introduce myself to my new class. Oh, our name is John? Okay, oh no, that's the teacher. Okay. <gasps> Can we have an affair with our teacher? If we can. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Rook. And starting today, I'll be taking over as your homeroom teacher. Why is he introduced as John? Not Mr. Rook. Okay. A month into the year, apparently their proper teacher became seriously sick and is on extended leave. I'm really looking forward to spending the year with you guys. First, I'm going to take attendance, so I have some idea who you are. After that, I'll tell you a bit about myself, then we can get started. Hopefully enough, the class list is available on my computer. Uh. Okay. And the growing mail icon tells me that I have unread messages, which I can read any time and probably should soon. Well, here goes. <clears throat> Sorry, in advance, if I pronounce any of these names wrong. Ariana Belly Esai? Hi there! Alright. That's a cute name. Kendall Flowers? Sup, sir. Is that a guy or a girl? Good. Taylor Gibson? I'm here. So you are. Sorry. Charlotte Grewal? Is that right? Yes, that's right. Present. Oh, goody two shoes. Just checking. How about Isabella Hart? Nobody says anything, or at least not that I can hear. But a girl near the back waves. Or back of the class waves. Okay, Isabella is at the back. Nola Strukis? No answer. Nolan? Is Nolan here? Someone taps on the shoulder of one of the boys strongly. Nolan, say something. It's attendance. Oh. Oh, yeah. Alright, and Akira Yamazaki? Here. I don't know. Oh wow, nice colors. There. I realize the school's uniforms policy is really more like a suggestion, but wow. Alright, great. Wait, I don't know who's just talking. Okay. I go through the entire class list and it looks like everyone is here after all. Now I just have to start remembering the faces. An introduction is in order though. This will be interesting. I'm the world's biggest rock up. I managed to 
screw up two whole marriages and became a teacher because of a bizarre midlife crisis. I'm looking forward to working with you all. <laughs> a teacher said this? What? What? But it doesn't say John. Oh. Um. Okay. It's probably. Oh. Oh. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I. I was confused. This will actually be my first time teaching job. I've studied English literature in university, but I've spent the past 15 years working in computers. By the way, I'm just gonna say I don't like to swear on this playthrough, but since the F word was there, I'm gonna read it. Which I hope should serve as a warning to anyone who plans to go into computers. It's bleak, boring work, but I'm here now. I'm not a hard ass, and I never liked teachers who were when I was your age. If for any reason whatsoever you're having trouble, whether it's academically, with your fellow students, or really anything, talk to me. I'm flexible, and that's what I'm here for. I bet we'll find out if you're flexible later. <laughs> no, that's probably weird. We're probably a dude. But whatever. I'm in my office most days after school, so just ask. No matter what it's about, even if it seems trivial. Yeah, I'm not going to be any one of those assholes that I had for teachers in high school, that's for sure. Regardless, I'm looking forward to working with you all. What is going on? I look over the class and I can tell that they look vaguely impressed. I didn't expect anything more. Oh, are we the teacher? Well, it's time to get started on the boring things, like all the syllabus. Okay, so next day, yay! So, I have no idea who we are, but, um... Okay, as I explained yesterday, today we're going to be starting our unit on Pulp Fiction with the novel Chain Mail. Can I see a show of hands for everyone who actually did their homework last night? Every hand in the room goes up, so it was only 40 very short pages. Alright, so what are your initial impression of the premise? Obviously this is a novel, novel that is fundamentally about the early era of internet culture. Do you think it seems relatable, unrelatable? Silence all around. Jesus, this is long. Just your general thoughts. There's no right or wrong answer here. But before I can continue, I really should check those messages. The indicator is blinking six. Really, I should at least take a quick glance. I really should be getting in the habit of checking messages regularly. Well, I would if you would stop talking. But before I continue, I really should... Oh. Do I hit... Oh. Okay. A public post on Ariana's wall. Oh my god, is that our new homeroom teacher? He's so hot. Wow, I didn't know teachers could look like that. He'll do. Jeez. Oh, of course, that's your kind of man. That's your kind of man, Taylor? I think that's everyone's kind of man. Listen. He's totally... Smex? He's totally... The Smex. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a brand of Chex Mix. I don't know. Okay, so... Um... Is that six then, I guess? What is this? So can anyone explain to me what is up with the lesbians this week? All a bunch of status updates now, and a lot of drama. What's different now? I like our homeroom teacher. He seems like he'll be nice. I don't okay. Um, what is that? Oh, we are the teacher. <gasps> they just called us hot. Um. Um. Okay. So. Okay. Um. What is? Can I talk to my students? Can I like hit on them? I don't know. Principal. 
I am not reading all this. This is probably just like the basic administration thing. Alright, so. Okay. What? Lesbians. Okay, male. Alright, I read that. I looked at that. What is going on? Male. Okay. Alright, so that. Okay. What is going on? Okay. What's this? What is this? That pass is good. Okay. I don't. Oh, duh. Okay. Hold me tight, tight enough to break me, so that even in a blizzard, I won't feel the cold. Oh my gosh. I think I know how my peach is. Okay. So. Male. I, don't know, I guess I assumed it was a female. There's. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so Taylor Gibson. Alright, so I'm cute, I'm funny, get to the movie. Alright, I think we're good. Yep. Okay. There we go. I should get caught up enough now. Anyone? After a bit of hesitation, the hand of the girl with pigtails and the glasses goes up. It takes a moment to remember her name, Charlotte. Who should I call on to answer? I'll call Charlotte. Taylor, for not being a teacher class, I decide to be better at it. I'd be a jerk. If I did. Yes, Charlotte. Well, it seemed. Oh, God. Are we gonna have an affair with our student? Well, it seems it's all really disconnected, isn't it? Everything's all about emails and one private website. That's very surprising. Well, what struck you as surprising? Specifically, how the girl wasn't able to reach out to anyone because she didn't know anyone's email address. It feels very disconnected, lonely. It wouldn't make much sense to have a story like that now. She could have just posted on the classmates' walls. Interesting. So you would say it's inherently more lonely because of the technology. I don't know. Maybe. That's okay. You can sit down now. What? Okay. That's a good segue, though. Thank you. You've touched on some important themes. I move on and carry on with the lecture as intended. A couple of people seem engaged, at least. The reluctance leaves me feeling a bit worried, though. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Is it going to be really that hard to engage them? I thought my choice in reading material would help, at least. Okay. So. Go. So, okay. I deeply worry that I'm not cut out for this. Lunch hour. Class fires out immediately. The instant the lunch bell rings. Oh. I lean over to get my pack lunch. When I sit back up, I see students waiting. Not everyone is in a rush, it looks. Oh, no. Excuse me, Mr. Rook. Charlotte, that's this one. That's the weird girl. And that's the silent one. How can I help you? Do you mind if we eat our lunches in here? It's what we used to do with our homework teacher. Not the cafeteria? LOL. What? You said LOL in actual conversation? Okay. It's a miserable hole. Kitty is so noisy that you can't even hear something. It's really bad. Yeah. Alright. It's just incredibly unfriendly. Oh. Okay. So. No, not at all. Of course you can. I just never thought of it. I'm gonna check this real quick. Don't be a bitch! <laughs> Um, hey, is, can I ask you a question? Apparently not. Where was that at? Don't, where is it at? Where was, okay, here we go. Unread. Taylor, don't be a bitch. Alright. So, what exactly, okay, we talked about the lesbian. Okay. Ah, uh, Okay. No, 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 of course you can't, I just never thought of it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to check this. 
Um, of course, there'll be a white knight on my part. Taylor, it's pretty simple. We broke up. It was oh, that's a dude. Taylor, don't be a bitch. Oh, we read that. Okay. Oh, uh, whoops. I'm really bad at this. Um, okay. I think that everyone... Uh, Alright, so... Alright. I haven't really... Okay, so we read that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, of course. Okay, don't make a mess. I'll go back to my lunch. And all three of them can take some near each other. So level with me, Charlotte. Don't. No, for reals. I'm serious. Oh my god. Don't bring it up. Come on, Kendall's my bro. I would like to know what's going on with her. Oh. Okay, so they are lesbians. Oh, sorry, I didn't read. It's fine, Bella. Why is everyone to see him? Because we fought. Why is that what everyone's assumed? We fought. It means I don't ever want to speak to her again. She's still my friend. Uh, so why are you avoiding her? We just need some time. Oh my gosh. Have you ever been in love? Okay. So. Okay, we're good. She needs some time apart. That's all. There's no drama. It's over with. Well, don't tell Taylor that. Why? How is this any of her business? Oh my Mmm. You're right. Alright. You're right. The weird question is, but yes I have. I don't know if I'm the best person to ask about that, though it never worked out for me. Didn't I tell you that? Anyhow, why do you ask? Alright, let me see if I can... No? Okay. That's it. I don't even want to check it. Uh, well, let me tell you, it comes from personal knowledge. I don't think it's going to work, which is good, because Kendall, when she's upset, is, it's not fate. I wish on Taylor. Okay. Ha ha, fair enough. I mostly try to avoid looking up at any of the three students. I feel like an awkward interloper. I forgot how ridiculous high school drama can be. Will they be like this for the whole year? <laughs> Probably now that I think of it. It's just been a long time, and I seem so reasonable when I was their age. I'll probably have to keep my eye on Taylor. And also on whatever's going on between these two girls. Mr. Rook? Oh, yes? How are you finding our school so far? Our school, I mean. Too disappointing, I hope. It's going to take some time to get used to be truthful. Have you been here since ninth grade? Yes, I have. But I understand. Two of us make small talk for a bit. First days of school and such. The other two don't seem to say anything, whether it's shyness or because they're too busy sending messages to other students. Jeez, we already have nine. I can't tell. It might be both. Eventually, day I'll leave at the end of their lunch break for their closing. I don't want to make any of what they've been talking about at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Alright, so there's that one. I really don't want to read all these. Here, I'll. If you want to know all their conversations, I'll leave it up. That way you can pause it. But I don't really want to read all that. A bit, yeah. I'll pause it if you want. Let's see. Okay, I'm just up. Oh, I thought we read that. We did. Okay. So, let's see. I have not gotten used to this. I don't. 
so I guess we're good. It's my second day on the job, and I don't know what to think about this. I turned to what I can do, which is reviewing my lecture notes for tomorrow. It's probably my own fault for not being engaging enough. I'll have to, I'll have to try to do better. That's all I can do. The next morning. Having nothing better to do, I stick around in the classroom even before the school has technically begun. I'm reminded of when I was in high school. I was usually the first one in the room then, too. I guess not much has changed since then. I have just graduated, so I miss high school a lot. So this is kind of reminding me of my days in high school. It doesn't take long before the first student comes in, and I'm not surprised by who it is. Charlotte? Yeah, I called it. Good morning, Mr. Rook. Of course it would be her, wouldn't it? Hi, Charlotte. Mm, she giving me the flirty eyes. I guess the thing to do would be to make small time. Lovely weather, isn't it? For now, I guess. It's supposed to rain later, though. Didn't you know? Oh, sh I mean, shoot. No, I didn't realize. Should have checked the weather report. Oh. Is there a weather report? No. There is not a weather report. Yeah. Well, how do you get here? My car. Well, I walk. Well, maybe it, I'll stop by the time I have to leave. Or maybe it'll stop by the time I have to leave. Better hope so. While I'm mentally kicking myself for not checking before I left, another girl walks in. Hi. Sup. She barely even looks up and definitely isn't expecting an answer. She just disappears to her desk, not even making eye contact with Charlotte, and stares at her computer. I keep chatting with Charlotte, and eventually the rest of the class starts to file in. Later. Another thing that is used to great effect is a story within a story. You might even argue that it's metafictional. That is, a story about two stories. What do you think? Do the details of the story being told by four girls matter? Or is or is it just there as a filter detail? I look around and raising her hand is Ariana. Before I can continue, I really should check the messages, the indicators like you Alright. It's gonna keep reminding me to check. <sighs> I really don't want to. Mr. Rook might be cute, but he sure isn't very sad. What? You were my favorite student. I was gonna risk a scandal for you. Okay? That. Oh. So, just because I don't check the weather report, I'm an idiot. Well, Mr. Ugh, I hate you. Judge me judge me like that. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is so rude. There we go. Oh, I think I know why. My mom just said it goes to the wrong place. I'm not comfortable with this crush of hers at all. Not that I can acknowledge it in any way. What can I say, anyway? Go ahead, Ariana. I think the details are extremely important. They reflect on the story as a whole. So, you could, like, learn what's really going on from them. That's good. That's valid. And also, they're important because they're written by the characters. You can learn a lot about someone from how they write. Yes, it's also very good. Do you have any examples? And she just goes on, completely dominating the class discussion. But it's clear she's engaged in the material, at least. So I can hardly shut her down. I'm glad she's taking it seriously, at least. Eventually, the launch bell rings, and the class starts to file out. In a hurry as ever. Stay behind is the same group as yesterday. No, not quite the same group as yesterday. Excuse me, Mr. Rook. Yes. I have to go by lunch now, but 
You know what you said, you're always available to talk, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, what's up? Could I stop by after class to talk about the book we're doing? There's some things I don't get, so I'd like to go over them more. Yeah, I highly doubt that's really why. But I can't exactly say no, can I? Can I? I did promise. Sure, of course you can. Come back around for it. We'll talk about what's giving you trouble. Thanks, Mr. Rook. I'm looking forward to it. They're chatting away, just like before. I'm just worried about how I'm going to deal with Ariana. Alright, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just go away. She'll get over it. Yeah, of course. Schoolgirl crushes are always fleeting. So how are things going with you two? Good. Oh, well, you know. Oh, no. That's it for the day. Well, as far as classes go. Sure enough, Charlotte was right. By the end of the day, it started to rain. Ariana's probably already on her way to my office. Before I go, I should take a break to see if there are any new 12 channel posts. Really, I should at least take a quick glance. Anonymous. Has anyone tried playing Magical Adventure? Pretty awesome. Okay. New porn game. It's not porn. It's highly sophisticated. It's all about character advancement and emotions. Oh, well, porn. Alright, so. Okay, so. No. I did. This is probably like so simple and I'm just missing it, but 12 channel. Am I not on 12 channel? <sighs> okay, what is this? Alright, I don't want to read all this. Alright. Alright. So. Well, it's time to go. Okay. Hi, Mr. Rook. Oh, here we go. Hi, Ariana. Why don't you have a seat? And we'll talk about what you're having trouble with. She sits down, crossing her skinny legs with an exaggerated motion. It's a pretense, of course. I know, I know it. She definitely knows, and I feel uncomfortable going along with this. We, of course, do discuss the novel, and she requests it, and she does ask the right questions. But it's obvious that's not why she's here. Oh, no. Look at her smile. It's so, like, come at me. I love you. I want you. Even if she hadn't mentioned it, it's a bit... To Isabella, I would have noticed. For sure, it's not just the way she's trying too hard to care about the book or the length of her dress. Every time she asks questions, she leaves forward, finishing with the end of her hair with her long fingers. I noticed, of course. Every time she's waiting for an answer, she puts her hands on her knees with a smile, rubs one of her bare, smooth legs against the other. I noticed, of course. Every time I speak, she starts. She stares just a too deeply back with those young eyes. I notice, of course. Despite it ha having never, despite it having never happened once in my life before, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind she's trying to seduce me. I have to wrap this up. I have to end it now. I definitely have to get out of here. I move, getting ready to stand up. She just follows my lead. Okay, well. It's starting to get late. Do you have any other questions about the book? No, I think that's all for now. I definitely do have a better understanding. Thanks so much for the help, Mr. Rook. Oh, well, it's nothing. I'm glad to help. I mean it. I really want you to know. You seem like a great teacher, and I appreciate that a lot. I really like you. 
Oh damn it, here it comes. Can I get out before she manages to clarify that into a confession? Oh, well, I'm glad anyway. I should get going. It was good to talk to you. I get up and go all the way to the door. Could it be that I, I can avoid it getting awkward after all? Likewise. I just have to say goodbye and I'm gone. Problem solved. Just have to say... Say, Mr. Rook, aren't you going to take your umbrella or did you not bring one? Oh, no. Oh, shit. She's good. She's got me. I know exactly what she's going to say. What should I do? Tell the truth about what? I know exactly what she's going to say. If I tell the truth. Um, okay. No, I didn't realize it's going to rain. I didn't think to bring one. That's okay. Why don't... Oh... We'll share my. Oh no. Okay, so. You get soaked and probably get sick for sure. Really? It wouldn't be a problem. Oh, she wants to share umbrellas. Rashly, I know I plan to shut her advances down to be the mature adult and just not even give her a chance. Rashly, I know that you can, can't get sick from being out in the rain. And rashly, I know that following along with her plan would be irresponsible. Me. Rashly, I know it's wrong. Find out how she's managed to catch me so perfectly off guard, charming in any way. Rashly, I know I shouldn't find that smile she's giving. The one that says she knows I'm going to say yes. So adorable. Oh no. Rashly, I know I should say no. Oh no. So, you actually live in this neighborhood, like within walking distance? I figured we'd just be walking to the subway. I guess it turns out I'm not as good as acting rashly as I'd like. Yeah, just a few blocks away, actually. Oh, have you been here long? Only a week, actually. I moved into the neighborhood once I got the job here. Oh, I see. So do you live alone? <laughs> Come on, don't ask that. Exactly! Yeah, for several years now. I leave that hanging as I remember. Reminder of how old I am. I've been divorced, kid, twice. With any luck, she'll pick up on that. Oh, well, it must be nice having things all to yourself. As she says that, she moves in even closer than she was before. I can feel her warm arm pressing against mine. So much for having any luck. Well, it's not always so bad. That's not honest. It's a lie. The biggest lie. I hate living on my own. It's lonely. It's soul crushing. It's terrible. It's always, always so bad. All bad. And that's when I make a mistake. I look down at her. I make eye contact. She responds with the biggest grin. She's happy right now. She's so happy. I can tell. And all I can think, as I look at the poor kid, is that I know the only thing she's thinking of right now is me. It's, it's one hell of a thought. I look away, and we keep walking down the street, but it's too late. I've humored her. I've gone along with her, and I practically acknowledge it to her now. She just babbles away happily, and I realize it isn't going to be an easy way out. This crush of hers isn't something that I can ignore, and it'll go away. After what feels like the longest walk home ever, we finally arrive at my building. This is me. Thanks for the umbrella. I wouldn't have done this if I knew they were talking about the umbrella. I have to do something, and it has to be right now. Okay, it's not a problem at all. I really enjoyed talking to you with you a lot. Well, actually, there's a there's something I like to tell you. All around us, the rain pours heavily. My stomach sinks. And then she takes my hand in her own, squeezing with those delight figures of hers despite the rain. Still, they're so soft to the touch. Oh my gosh. She smiles sweetly, sweetly at me, getting ready to confess to me, and I realize with horror as the girl prepares with her short dress, with her surprisingly deep eyes, with her unsubtle flirting, with her delicate grip, with 
all those things standing right in front of me. I realize in spite of myself, I'm becoming just a bit hard. <laughs> I have to do something right now before she says anything. Okay, yeah, we're going to pull the hand off. I have to get control of myself. I can't afford to be thinking with my dick here. I've already gone along with this far too long. I pull my hand off. I pull her hand off of mine. Please stop there, Ariana. I just want to tell you. I know what you want to tell me. It's obvious, Ariana. I'm flattered, really. But please just don't say it, okay? What? She looks shocked as if her intentions aren't obvious. She seems to be at a loss for words. It wouldn't be appropriate, Ariana. In fact, this is already completely inappropriate. I shouldn't be walking students back to my apartment. Do you know how bad it looks? I promise I won't tell anyone, Mr. Rook. I really like you. I just want... I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. But I know what you want, and this is the worst rejection I've ever given in my life. This is the worst. I'm babbling, she's babbling, and there's no way this won't end up in crush feelings. Well, I would rather crush feelings than lose my job and be branded a pedophile, okay? I'm your teacher, Ariana. You're a cute girl who obviously knows how to use her charms. You shouldn't be chasing guys over twice your age. You can do better. Oh my god, what the fuck am I even saying? This isn't a rejection. It's playing hard to get. What's wrong with me? No, I couldn't. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're hot. You're smart and you're modest. Of course I like you. There's nothing wrong with that. I can't do this gently. I'm apparently incapable of doing this gently without coming across like an absolute retard. We are not giving into this. Maybe next time, but not now. Stop. Please, just stop. Ariana, you're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing me. You're too young. It wouldn't be right. And frankly, I would feel disgusted with myself if I said yes. Do you understand? She stares at me in a moment and she finally seems to go through her. Whatever she wants from me, it's never going to happen. It can't. I, I, I just, I thought, I'm sorry, Ariana. Please go home. Ariana. Ariana, please go home. Fine. Forget it. Forget I said anything. I, I. She runs off, disappearing into the rain, probably crying even harder. I go inside my apartment and resist the urge to just repeatedly slam my head into the wall until I stop feeling so bad about what I said. Oh my gosh, dude. Don't feel bad about it. You avoided being a pedophile. You avoided it, okay? That's like, you're golden. You didn't do anything. What a truly awful thing to say to someone. I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather be a jerk and not be a pedophile. Okay? Like, that is ridiculous. I sit on the edge of my own bed. All I can do is wonder, where did I go wrong? How did it turn out like this way? Poor kid. All she had was a harmless schoolgirl crunch. And the guts fall through on it. No, you don't follow through on it, though. It's a teacher. She she sure didn't deserve to have some old teacher flip out on her like that. Whatever. I mean, she'll get over it. Schoolgirl crushes are always pleading, of course. But, but still, poor kid. The next day. It's absolutely beautiful out, but I checked the weather report before I hang out this morning. All the same. Alright. Alright, so. Alright. Let's see. There we go. I'm learning. I'm learning. This time it's not Charlotte who first comes in. It's her. I grim is praying she doesn't make things more awkward than they already are. Alright guys, I'm going to stop here for today. This has been a wild ride, but um, I will continue with this later. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Ronin Style or Handy Capable Gamer, uh, whichever you prefer. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I know that my voice isn't great, but I really enjoy doing this. 
So thank you so much and goodbye.